In today's video, we are gonna recreate this Houston Cold Reel animation inside the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. As always, let's create a new Fusion clip and head over to Fusion. In Fusion, add a background node and connect it to the media out. Click on the node, then press F2 and rename the node as transparent. Now go to the inspector window and bring down the alpha value to make it transparent. We need this node to achieve the vertical HD frame. Now bring the clip you want to use as the background and connect it to the main node line. Rename it as BG. If you want to use the same files as me, check the link in the description. Click on the Merge node, then go to the Edges tab and select Mirror. Now click on the BG node and add a Brightness Contrast node. Then go to the Inspector window and decrease the gain until you get something like this. Now let's convert our clip to 3D before designing. First disconnect it from the media out. Then click on the Merge node and add an Image Plane 3D. Rearrange it and add two Merge 3D nodes and a Render 3D node. Finally connect the output of Render 3D to the media out. So here's what we're going to do. Click on the second Merge 3D and name it Main Merge. Now click on the first one and rename it to Parent 1. Quick note, we'll connect all the other nodes of our first scene to the Parent 1 node so that we can move them at once. We'll do the same for each scene and our parent nodes will go to Main Merge to create the whole picture. All right, let's continue. Select all nodes related to the background and rearrange them properly. I'll put them at the bottom. Add a text node and convert it into 3D, then connect it to the parent node. Now go to the inspector window and type the word attention using the font Bebus Nui. It's the same font as him. Here's one thing. I won't use animated text in the tutorial because my PC will lack. But if you want to know how to do that, the short video link is in the description. Now drag the main merge to one of the windows to view the 3D scene. Click on the image plane 3D and bring the text forward to adjust the depth. Click on the text node and increase its size. Then change the color to red since the original text is red. Add a soft glow node and go to inspector window increase the glow size to 400 if you want red light in the background as well, then decrease the gain. Finally, add a drop shadow and adjust it as needed. Once done, you will get something like this. Now we'll create these particles. Add P emitter node. Click on it and add P render node. Connect the output of P render to the parent node since we want it in the first scene only. Click on the P emitter node, then go to the inspector window and click on the region tab. Change the size to 4. We want the particles to cover the whole background, so play with the size a little. Now click on the style tab and change the style to blob. If we move around frame 30, we'll see this craziness. It's just too much. Let's adjust it. On the style tab, click on the size tab and decrease it all the way down to around 0.03. Increase the size variance so that each particle looks different. Now click on the control tab and decrease the lifespan to around 30 and give a little life variance. Do the same with particle numbers as well. Play with the random seed to get the desired look of particles. You can also play with translation values in the region tab. Play with all these settings until you get something that looks good. Once you are done with that, select all the nodes till parent one and press shift plus space. Then add underlay. You can go here and change its color. I will use this. Now let's animate it. It's a simple camera animation. Add a camera and connect it to the main merge. Go to frame 0, click on the camera, go to transform, and increase the Z value until your clips zoom out like this. Add a keyframe. Now go to around frame 25 and decrease the Z value until the clips fit properly like this. Now if we play, our animation is done. But we've got to do a few things. First let's fix this transparent background issue. Click on the image plane 3D which is connected to the BG node and increase the scale all the way up to 5. Now click on the merge node and decrease its size. Since we have enabled mirror edges, when we decrease the size here, it will bring back the details on our main scene. Click on the spline icon, then tick the Z offset from the spline editor. Select it and press S on the keyboard. Now make a curve like this. Let's preview. Our animation is now similar to that of Houston Cold, and we are also done with the first scene. Click on the camera node and add a 3D transform node. Name it Null. Go to around frame 20, click on the Null, and add keyframes for X and Z translation. Now move 25 frames forward, which is frame 45, and increase the X offset a little to move the clip to the left, then increase C to zoom out. Play with them until you get something like this. We want our second scene to appear here. Now open the spline editor and untick everything except null. Click on Z to disable it for a moment. Now select X offset and make a similar curve like me. Do the same for Z offset. So this is how our animation looks like. Now move the underlay down as we don't need it anymore. Let's design our second scene. Add a background node and rename it as black. Convert it to 3D. Then add a Merge 3D node and name it Parent 2. Connect the output of Parent 2 to the main merge. Now click on the Parent 2 node and bring it forward in the 3D space until it overlaps every other element. Then click on the Image Plane 3D and scale it up till it hides everything, just like this. If your particles are appearing on top of the black background, 
click on the P render node and change the globe out value to something like 38. Our black background will appear at around this time once we animate it. Now bring the character PNG. I will name it man, convert it to 3D, and connect it with parent 2. Here's one thing. I won't do this multi-character thing, but if you want to, just make 4 copies of the character and adjust 2 on the left and 2 on the right. It's easy. Once done, bring the image plane 3D to position the character layer properly. Adjust the scale as needed until you get something that looks good. So here I've added a background node and changed its color to red, name it red bar. We're going to bring it forward, so it overlaps the background but stays behind the character. Adjust its scale as well. We need to make it really big. Now let's add a rectangle mask to the red bar. Let's adjust it. The first thing we're going to do is bring it to the left side since we want to give it a reveal animation from the left. Adjust its size until you get something like this. Change its angle to minus 5 and position it accordingly. It might be a little hard, but don't worry. Now I've made the second red bar. Just copy it and reset the angle so you can adjust it properly. Position this one on the right since it will start from the right side. Once done, change the angle back to minus 5. Once you are done, you will get something like this. As you can see, I have added the text copycat as well. Also, I've added the soft glow on both the text and red bars and got something like this. It is an easy step so I skipped it. Now if you see here on the bottom of the character PNG, you can see a sharp line which doesn't look good. We've got to fix this. For that, add a background node and name it mask. We need to make it 3D as well so that we can use it to cover that sharp line and give a fading effect. Bring it forward, then add a rectangle mask to it. Adjust it at the bottom side of the character PNG to cover this sharp line. Increase the soft edges a bit to give the fading effect. Play with it until it looks good. We're done with the design. Now let's animate each one of them properly. Before we proceed with animation, select all the nodes till parent 2 and add underlay to it as well. Let's animate the black background first. But before that, hide all the other nodes for now. We will animate each layer one at a time. Click on Image Plane 3D and click here to hide it. Once you've hidden all the nodes, click on the Image Plane 3D of the black background and decrease the opacity to zero. Now find the position where the text attention looks like this, which is frame 23 for me. Our black background will start to appear from here, so add a keyframe on the opacity value. Now move forward 10 to 12 frames and change the opacity to one. If we play it now, we'll get something like this. Now enable the red bars. Move around 5 frames from where the black background started then click on rectangle mask and add a keyframe to the width. You can do it earlier if you want to. Now bring the width all the way to the left until it gets off the screen. Move forward around 10 frames and bring it back to normal. Let's take a look now. Do the opposite transition for the bottom bar on the same frames. Once done, you will get something that looks like this. So here I have animated the text as well. It's just a simple fade in animation and it will start after 3 frames from where the red bar started. Now enable the character node and find the position where the character enters, which is frame 21 in our case. Click on the character layer and change its global in value to 21, so that it starts from frame 21. Do the same with the faded mask. And with that, we are done with the second scene. Let's move to the third and probably the last scene. Click on the null and add another 3D transform node. Name it as null 2. Now go to around frame 40, exactly 5 frames backwards from where the second animation stopped. Add a keyframe to Z. Move forward 20 frames and zoom out till you get something like this. Open the spline editor and create a curve like this. Now let's design this part. Add a black background node, make it 3D, and add a merge node. Name it as parent 3. Now bring it forward so it overlaps everything, and scale it as well so it hides them properly. Click on image plane 3D, go to material and decrease the opacity. Go to around frame 43 and add a keyframe. Now go 8 to 10 frames forward and increase the opacity to 1. So here I have added the texts copying each other. It's actually simple to design. The first text node is copying, and the second one is each other. Now let me show you how to animate it so it appears from the bottom. Go to the frame where Black 2 started, and now click on the image plane 3D of the text node. Bring down the Y offset till the text disappears. Add a keyframe. Now move forward to 10 frames and change its value to 0. Now open the spline editor and make S curve by pressing S on the keyboard. Let's preview the animation. Now bring the alphabetical image, link is in the description. Rename it, and make it 3D. Now click on the image plane 3D. Bring it forward. It must stay behind the text. Increase its scale quite a bit. Now add a rectangle mask and make a shape like this. Invert the mask, and play with the soft edges a little. Now go to material, and bring down its opacity, and also play with the angle a little. After all that, you will get something like this. Here I've animated the opacity. The frame is actually the same as the other two nodes. I will end the video here. The rest of the animation follows the same process, you just need to design and keep an eye on timing. You can enable motion blur by going to the settings of render 3D. And here's the final result. 
If you like the tutorial, make sure to check out my other videos too. Feel free to ask me anything in the comments section.